Hey there, this is Jeff and I am doing another main stage video and today I'm going to show you how to start building patches. Um, in my last series of videos I showed you kind of how to create this layout from scratch and this again maps to my Axiom 61. I've got four zones and today I'm going to show you how to build or I'm going to start a, a video on how to build a four zone multi-layered keyboard set or patch. Um, but we're just going to start with one patch. So we're going to we're going to click here. We open. We create this untitled patch a couple videos ago, and I'm just going to name it my patch one. And that's all you have to do is just click on the title there. The little text will come up just like normal normal Max. And now we've got a patch. Okay. First thing we need to do is we need to create some channels. Um, so we come over here. We create a channel. This is going to be an instrument, and I want to create four. And it shows you, these are my MIDI inputs. Now remember, we created these different MIDI inputs when we when we built the set. So I'm going to create a four right off the bat. And then on each of these, I'm going to click on them, and I'm just going to double check. Oh, look at that. We've got the spinning wheel of doom. Okay, good. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to go to MIDI input, zone one. That's instrument number two. Instrument number one is missing. That's kind of funny. Okay, but we're gonna go to instrument number three and we're gonna move it from zone one to zone two. There you go. This one's gonna go to zone three. And this one's gonna go to zone four. Look at that, two, three, four, five, awesome. Now, first things, now that we have them set up to the different zones, what that means is when I press when I go into the zone mode on my keyboard, see how that turns yellow? I'm controlling that layer. Now I go to zone two, I'm controlling that one. I'm going to zone three, I'm controlling that one. I click zone four, controlling that one. So I've got a, the, the Axiom 61 has four zones. Again, there's there's four buttons right right below the, um, you know, right above the key bed, right in the center. And, and when the zone light is lit, I can quickly select one, two, or all four of these zones. You know, I can have one and three going, I can have two and four going, I can have two, three, four going, you know, or I can just have all four going. And you see how I all I'm doing is change the buttons on my on my controller, and that changes which uh, which keyboards are being played. And I'm just pressing the same keys on all of them. So so that this is how I build my layers here in main stage. This is this is how I get multiple effects. And my standard patch, I'm just gonna show you how to build a standard patch tonight and uh, what I what I like to start with is usually instrument number one it's instrument two but zone one I like I like playing piano so we're gonna go over here to my the channel strip library main stage you know I, I went ahead and I've got the logic studio uh, pro and so I've got access to all these really wonderful instruments um, I tend to like the Bosendorf for I tend to like that, and sometimes I'll I'll put a little um, reverb on it uh, using Space Designer if I've if I've got you know a CPU to spare. Uh, typically, Zone Two, Instrument Three here. What I like running is a um, let me change it to Zone Two. I like running a, a B3, and they've got some really awesome. Uh, the the B3 simulator here is really cool. And so I'm just going to click this one and I'm going to open up B3. Cuz there's some there's some really good really good options in here. There's some really good things. Let's see what what, what do we want tonight though. Blues, let's try the blues solo organ. It's kind of quiet, you know. What we maxed out our volume. There we go. And then right there, you see how that's changing? I'm just, I'm just tweaking my mod wheel. All right, I like that one. That one's good. All right, so we got our B three. 
Classic rock organ, sweet. Typically on zone three, I like, like a pad of some kind. Um, so I'm gonna come in here to synthesizer, pad. What's one of my favorite? Um, breathy Vox is kind of cool. The cla you, it's, sometimes though it's hard to beat the classic analog pad here. It gives you yeah, you know that really kind of cutting sound. And if you throw a filter on that, man, that, that you can really do some cool things with the filter there. Um, that's one of the other ones I like to play with. Dark pad, dark pad's a favorite of mine. Yeah, like if you're playing oceans, man, this 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 really gives you some good. Yeah, you can hear it. Sorry, it's hard to hear. I don't have my sound set up real good, but um, that just kind of gives you an idea. So I'll, I'll run dark pad there. Oh, I might have to end this. And then finally on 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 zone four. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw some strings up. So I go to orchestral, I go to strings, and full strings are good. Usually though, I think the cinema strings, and then you throw some delay on it. And so here I can play. Here's piano and pad. Here is piano and strings. And the nice thing about this is I can turn the strings off by just punching that four. See, I, I, I turned, sorry, I turned the piano off. Now I can just go straight to piano. Now if you do what I just did, what would happen is you created a, a panic. You create a panic situation there, but you can recover. Anyway, so that's that's it. That's how you create a basic patch in main stage using our Axiom 4 Zone layout. I hope you I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, leave a thumbs up. If you've got comments for things I can do next time or to make it better, uh, leave a comment. Thank you. Bye.